All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Quick video here. I want to just let you guys know some of the things that are going on. Okay. Um, first of all, it's uh, Iraqi uh, aircraft receive uh, warning leaflets over the city of Tel Aviv. Basically, uh, the Iraqi aircrafts have dumped leaflets just like they did in Mosul and, uh, and Fallujah and other places. They're warning the citizens in the area and the people in the city that they're that they're coming in, um, you know, through the ground, uh, you know, because they've already came in through the air for the last six months. I mean, my God, they they have blown the they they have they have dropped at least like a six thousand bombs in Tallahassee, and 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 they have, now they're going to be coming in on the ground game. So they're letting everybody know that they're coming in on the ground and they're going to liberate the area. We said Monday uh, Monday the twenty first, which was a Interesting date because you have this 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 eclipse on the 21st. We're supposed to see the lower notes in the ATMs on the 20th, 21st. We have all these things happening on the 20 20th, 21st. It's just been crazy. People people are going crazy around the world. <laughs> you got terrorist attacks going on. People are using their vehicles as terrorist attacks. You know, and all types of craziness going on. Uh, the world is restless. And I think it's because of this eclipse coming in and all this other stuff that's going on. And there's also man-made things. People, uh, the elites are doing man-made things just to make it seem like people are going crazy because of a, a August 21st eclipse. Okay, so a lot of the stuff that we see are man-made. Hollywood scripted out for, for you know, could some of these stuff could have been, uh, you know, designed in secret for uh, six months. Okay, um, and a lot of times. You guys see them on all Craigslist. We're hiring for this. And they're, they're even getting so bold that they're putting it on social media. Like, if we need crisis actors in, in Dallas, Texas, and or and then some guys did an interview saying, yeah, I am a crisis actor. How are you doing? And the person's like, what the hell? So, so you go to these uh, these places, and, and, and you know that uh, these uh, false flag events are going to happen, and then you act like you're hurt and say yeah this is what i do i'm a crisis actor this is what i do you don't see any problem in that <laughs> like that is ridiculous and then they put it on tv and then everybody cries and, and says and changes their profiles to i love uh you know support this, these people or or I'm, I'm for i stand by this country and then you see barack obama and and uh all the other uh, politicians come out and according to, including the president and say, you know, we're sorry for these people's law. Man, these things, and a lot of these things are so planned out months in advance and everything is scripted. And Hillary Clinton saying, talking about uh, Barcelona, Obama talking about <laughs> racism and stuff. And, and, and uh, while in the background, these people, these politicians, all of them, Okay, 99, I'll say 99% of them, <laughs> okay, or maybe let's just say 90% to be safe, <laughs> whatever, uh, are, are in the background, you know, doing, making these things happen, okay, the reason why we have racism is because they won't stop it, <laughs> okay, uh, they, if we have racism, they win, any type of confusion, any type of chaos, they win. So it's like, you know what I mean? So like for, for to me to see politicians come out and say things like, you know, uh, you know, we stand by you or we do and their and their whole model is order out of chaos. <laughs> Uh, and people fall for it all the time. I see people on social media. Oh my God! Thank you, Barack. Thank you, Hillary. Thank you, Trump. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, McCain. <laughs> thank you, all these people. Like, and I just sit there like, are you are you really this dumb? <laughs> like, the reason why you're enslaved and oppressed and all these other things and have racism is because these people have uh, these people are puppets to that. <laughs> They keep the system going. We could easily eradicate the system. Imagine a imagine a world that is without these people. I guarantee you, we would be we wouldn't be seeing the things that we see. <laughs> okay, these people are used as puppets to keep us in this in this uh, in this matrix that we're in. Um, and that it looks like we can never get out of it. A body um, advisor, of course, as Mohammed Saleh says, 35% of Iraq's de Iraq's uh, declared debt belongs to the former regime. So basically, he's saying it's Maliki's debt. Okay, it has nothing to do with us. It's Maliki's debt, and he's also saying that uh, 
uh, it says uh, it has not been liquidated uh, by the Paris Club agreement, noting that the about $42 billion our debt is uh, virtually non-existent. So you just wipe out $42, from, $42 billion from that from our deficit because it doesn't exist, okay? It says uh, this amount should be de deleted as 80% of their value is incorrect and no documents are added uh, to the Iraqi debt and therefore uh, shows the figure is very huge, okay? So, yep, that's what he's saying. And also, if you've been sleeping under a rock, uh, compensation uh, for Kuwait by Iraq will be in investments in oil. It will not be cash. They will not receive. Uh, they have they have decided not to receive the uh, 4.6 billion dinars, but they are going to use it instead for a projects, investment, and oil. Okay, and this will strengthen their borders, uh, the relationships, and their country ties together. And you'll probably see uh, Kuwait go in there, re do some reconstruction and rebuilding, and create an, a Kuwaiti city inside of Iraq. I think that's going to happen, and people can uh, you know go there and enjoy the Kuwait traditions, the food, and the rest restaurants and stuff inside of Iraq, just like we have Chinatown and stuff. I think that's what they're going to do as well. Okay, so that's it for me in a quick video, and I'll talk to you guys later. I know I went on a little ramble there in the beginning because it's, it's so important to know that a lot of this stuff is staged. A lot, a lot, they have times of events, times of when they're going to do things. Everything is coded. It has to be coded that way, and if you guys know that even, even, even Yeshua talked in parables, right? I mean, he talked in codes, okay? And and, and so, and of course, the, the, the devil copies everything that God does and Yeshua does and the Holy Spirit. So, so of course, his kingdom, the, uh, you know, the elites, they do everything in code. So everything has to be coded. Every event that you see on television by the Zionists, which are controlled, which are the elites, uh, everything is coded, okay? Nothing happens Usually, unless it's divine intervention, nothing happens without them knowing or planning it out. That's it. So I uh, hope you guys understand that, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. And a lot of times, when the things that do happen when they don't understand, when they don't plan it out, it's never on t television. Okay, it might be on your local news. <laughs> okay, uh, some guy shoots up like 900 people, and no one knows about it, and that's because it, it wasn't them. <laughs> but then somebody shoots up like two people and it's all over the news. Oh my God, he's a psycho. He's he's on the loose. <laughs> but the guy who shot up 900 people, you never hear about it. That's because they pick and choose what they want you to know. Okay, so I'm out. Eyes open. Bye. I, mean, I already know. A lot of you guys already know this. We're, we're talking about eyes open. If I set this on 365, then people, 365, people will be like, what? <laughs> I didn't know that. But it's on eyes open media. And a lot of you guys know this, so shalom.